Hawkeye Episode 3 Tower Echoes and this episode is of course the introduction of Echo who is a character who's getting a spin-off so naturally everyone's like spotting on this episode to see it, our first impression over this character because it's like Marvel, Kevin Feige, like you guys think this character is that awesome you're going to give this character a spin-off show okay let's see how this goes and already by five minutes because here's the thing about this episode it is a really well done episode it's better than last week's too the first two episodes were okay too solid now this is just a really well put together episode but on the surface someone could easily just say it's one big action sequence this whole episode is one big action sequence you can say that cynically but in reality what it actually is, is introducing Echo and have a sense of who she is, why she's doing what she's doing, and that motivation that comes with it. And the thing about, about the character, because I never heard Echo, when I heard, hey, we're making a character, we're doing a spin-off show, Echo, I'm like, who? This is probably more Guys of Galaxy who than Guys of Galaxy ever was. Or Eternals, like, who's Echo? And by this episode, they explain this character's death. This is a character who is ha who has a false leg. They're missing a leg, so they ha had to walk around with a, fa a false leg. And with those habitations, I don't know those um, aspects. I, I don't I don't know what the right term is. Probably, probably wrong wording of explaining it. But it's going to be interesting of seeing a show where your main character's death where most of you know it's sign language she speaks in sign language and we mean subtitles like is this how, is the show gonna be all subtitles most of the time it's gonna be a really interesting concept and interesting character to make a show over and see if the audience actually cares and see if the audience are invested see if the audience are there for this character and what i also like with this episode is the relationship between Clint and Kate. Like Kate is, the best way to say Kate is she is a person who is a, a Wookiee who acts like a veteran because they are like the oldest training, oldest training and now they're finally you know, doing it and they get this level of cockiness. And even though there's a couple of bits and pieces, like the branding thing again, okay, can we stop with the branding thing? I get it, maybe the concept is, hey, we all know Hawkeye is not everyone's favorite Avenger. I get it. He's not as popular as Iron Man, she's not as he's not as popular as Thor, he's not as popular as Captain America, Black Widow, Hulk. He's like everyone's least favorite. Uh, or, you know, he's... And so we'll do a little wink, wink, nod, nod of possibilities where he can be people's favorite and you know using the branding thing but the branding joke is just getting old even though you're like hinting to the, the classic this costume will never work in live action which is the OG comic book outfit with spandex attached to it I mean to be fair Falcon with the soldier is that Falcon with it one division did it Loki did it but again Vision and Loki kind of did show that there's a reason why these certain costumes are not the standard. They don't just translate it because they don't look that good or it just looks ridiculous or whatever it is. But yeah, it's, I like the relationship. Um, I do feel a little bit like K is able to fight and win a battle a little bit too well because I get if the concept is hey you're able to hold yourself kid let's let me train you more and that's how and next time we see Kate she is now fully capable but I just she I, she's able to beat these guys like the nothing but again it's the concept of the tra what was it the tracksuit gang and thank god they quit the Bro, bro, bro. Hey, what are you doing, bro? 
like that whole thing because I get it. It's 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 a comic book thing. Like these these this gang can't stop saying that we're bro all the time. Like listen, every word they say is bro at the end of the sentence, and in that may works once again work better on a printed page. But when you translate that. It just becomes like, oh for fuck's sake, can you, there's other words in this and that guys, there's other words in this and that, you just sound like an idiot, that's what we are, you sound like an idiot. So the thing is over that, um, the, the big action sequence, uh, that goes for like 12 minutes, like 10 minutes of the episode, is really well put together, I mean it's, it's the car chase that we have seen from the trailers. It's really well put together, it's really expensive, it's really well choreography, um, it's kind of like their version of the Falcon Winter Soldier opening when we all went like, holy crap, well, I didn't went holy crap because I'm like, give me context please, why should I care what's happening, but I'm like, holy crap, this is really well put together and this is on a TV, this is a TV show. Uh, because if you th even think about it, the first episode did felt very like TV, while this episode feels like a movie like that's just on TV, uh, that is a TV show. Um, there's a rumor going around, um, in, that's been going around about a certain character from a certain Netflix show showing up, and all I will say for people who don't know the rumor, in case it is true, I it, this episode kind of hints that heavily. Um, and I would not be shocked that we will see said character in uh, in a couple in episodes um, just and played by the same actor and probably be a different version of the character it's just a different version played by the same actor in this situation but I, I'm really looking forward to that um, if that comes to fruition if that is actually what I think it is um, but yeah, I mean, and the lead up to the, the, you know, seeing Clint dealing with deafness and him telling Kate that, you know, being a hero is not what it's cracked up to be, you know, people die, I mean, look, you know, I, I see Quicksilver, you know, Quicksilver, uh, Coulson, Widow, um, Tony, you know, all these deaths, all these people, so cracked up to be, I like, I like that, you know, Clint dealing with his death, uh, his, uh, deafness, I really like that. Um, but yeah, this is a really solid, really well put together episode. It's gonna be interesting if it's like a, the opposite of Loki, how we're all like, first two episodes, oh my god! And then like, episode three onwards, it's like, eh, that was fine, uh, no, that, that, that was a fine episode, 